Good morning, lovely viewers. We are coming to you live from digital address GA0992539 in Kokomimli, Accra, on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. The show is Joy News Interactive, and I bet you're eager to watch it. And I'm sure you're happy. You know, we have always have some scoop for you. Our social media handle for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is Joy News on TV. My name is Selinam Ampo. So our first story, um, power producers in the country are asking for an increase in tariffs to help them produce more power. The Ghana Grid Company, for example, is asking for as much as two times what it currently charges for transmitting power countrywide, saying it will struggle to operate without it. But the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission has fought off claims that new managers taking over the electricity company of Ghana will hike tariffs. The question is, would you pay more for power? Uh, I'll, I'll pay more for, for power. Why? If um, I'm getting what I really want, I think I, I will pay more. Uh, if the service being delivered to me is, is, is on point and everything is okay, it wouldn't hurt paying a little more for it. But if the service remains the same, I don't think the value will match the more I have to pay. Pay more for a power. If the power supply is constant, not as bre breaking as we used to see the power outages, just um, no announcement being given prior to the power outage, we just take off the light anyhow, then I wouldn't suggest for an, uh, a, a, a more payment to an electricity or whatever. And to pay more. Why? Because I will not have any any alternative. Yes, I'll pay more. Why? And if the uh, Ghana uh, UCG is willing to give me good treatment, I have to pay more. Just good treatment? Yeah, just good treatment. That's all we are opting for. So if we are getting value for money, then if I pay more, it's not bad. Well, people out there want the value for their money. Away from that, let's talk about phobias. Phobias are surprisingly common. But what exactly do people fear most? Are you terrified of spiders, scared of snakes, or it's heights? Well, you are not alone. But what is a phobia? A phobia is a type of anxiety disorder that causes an individual to experience extreme irrational fear about a situation, living creature, place or object. So when a person has a phobia, they would often shape their lives to avoid what they consider uh, to be dangerous. Do you have a phobia? What are you afraid of? Let's watch this. What are you afraid of in life and why are you afraid of that? Failure. Yeah, failure is my, is my biggest fear. To fail in life, that's what I fear most in life, you know? Because we can't, we can't afford to fail. We only have one life to live and we can never afford to fail. We have to do everything possible to be successful in life. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of water. Why? Why are you afraid of water? I'm just look at the way it's large. In case you fall into that thing, where will they find you? Or who will bring you out of it? That's what I'm afraid of. Not of any human being. I'm afraid of being infected with HIV virus. Yeah. Why are you afraid of that? Well, the, with the uh, stigmatization that it comes with. People in your environment knowing that you have HIV, pointing fingers at you, Losing um, somebody I love because if I say I love, I decide, it's a decision I take. So it means that I have to take a decision on the, the next person. For me, it's not looks or what I see on somebody. I decide to love you. So when I decide, it means that I'm loving your odds and your good, everything about you. So when I lose a loved one, it means I'm going to start the process all over again. It's really heartbreaking. For death, I'm ready to die any day because I'm a Christian and I know what it means to die. So I'm afraid of not accomplishing before I die. 
my dreams. I want I want to be a musician one day. I want to be a star one day. And then I could die any moment from now. So I want to at least send my music far before I die. Send what I have in music before I die. I'm actually also I'm afraid of water because water don't have anything that you can hold once you are leaving it to rescue you. Well, you had some people there, they're afraid of heights, afraid of water, afraid of fall, falling in love and feel failure. You know, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of spiders. So we went on Facebook and here's what people are saying. And we have Bedu Vera Dankwa who says, I'm agoraphobic, acrophobic and cynophobic. And Kwame Osei Apia Dankwa says he, he has gynophobia. Wow. So he's afraid of women. And Fifi Bunny says, savings and loans taking my money. That's what he is afraid of. Robert Thompson comes in with a comment, nothing. He fears nothing. And Abigail says, she fears death. And the last comment coming from Isaac Smart Esso, who says, mine is acrophobia, the fear of height. Um, comments coming from Kanya Futa who says death and how and where to die. We also have Halidu Said who says not making it when I grow up. Frank Nana Kwameado says my biggest fear in life is failure. And we have Abdul Rashid who says the hereafter and Bashiru Yahuza who says heights. Now some people there with their fears. Now let's talk about something that's been trending on social media. I'm sure most of you have seen it on all your social media platforms and jumped on the challenge too. It is the 10 year challenge. The challenge is simply to see how hard did aging hit you. Some of our favorite celebrities have jumped on the bandwagon to show us what they looked like 10 years ago and what they look like now. some more pictures behind me and you can see some people participating in the 10 year challenge let's take a break we'll be back shortly From that short break that you're still watching join news interactive with me selena ampo now you know the 10-year challenge is still ongoing and we have this picture of sarkodie and it comes with very interesting comments from people some sarkodie fans let's take a look at the picture yes that is the image of sarkodie 10 years ago in the joy news studios and this is a recent picture of him in the journey studio so that's the difference 
10 years ago. So let's go to some of the comments. And we have Abubakar Isaibu who says, Sack, the best rapper in Ghana. And Eben Awa who says, God is good. Ephraim says, good one. Sir, life should be progressive. It's, it's well becoming. Nana Ansu says, that look in his eyes says it all. Bro, how did you make it? Show us the light. And Ernest Kwesi Asari says, can you also bring your 10 years pics? so we can compare we'll do well to do that and jude novel says i can see the 10 years difference between the microphones well and we also have kwame sapon nana who says ha 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 sakodia changed all cliff jantua says first it was obede pombede and it came to obede and now it is bide hashtag bide and Wallace J says, the forehead alone speaks. And Michael Day says, money they make man final. And Amankwa Paul says, it's life. Now, let's move on to some other story. We have singer R. Kelly's career and play, his Playboy lifestyle being riddled with rumors of abuse, predatory behavior, and pedophilia. Survivors and people from R. Kelly's inner circle have decided to speak now about his sexual, mental, and physical abuse. Let's look at this. It's the devil. It's the devil. It's the devil. R. Kelly is at the top of the charts, but he may be in for a fall. He was arrested today on 21 counts of child pornography. Kelly is accused of videotaping himself having sex with an underage girl. Taking advantage of minors will not be tolerated. Jurors found him not guilty on all charges. Robert has said all along he would be clear to these terrible charges. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Milk R. Kelly! Milk R. Kelly! We got a tip that she's here. She's not here. R. Kelly has denied accusations that he's holding women against their will in a sex cult. Dave said he loves you so much. I should have never introduced her to him. I should have never introduced my family. He's the puppet master. It was very scary because I knew at that moment I had a secret. Sparkle is alleged to have received significant payment. I didn't take the money because I can't be bought. He ain't a monster by himself. It took some help. I'm just ready to get the hell out of there. Black women don't get the same recognition as our white counterparts. And I'm well, that is um, some snippet of the Al um, Surviving Al Kelly um, documentary. It's been trending on Twitter, and here are some tweets, what people are saying. And we have Sam who says, hope people are taking in that for black women and girls to be believed. It took 30 years and six, a six-part lifetime docu-series, hashtag Surviving Al Kelly, to go steady viral for over a week. And officials in two states are only now opening investigations and still not sure people believe. And Stacey Ab Abram says, Thank you to the black women and their allies who have worked for years to expose R. Kelly, often overlooked to all worse. You persisted, knowing you would one day make a difference. Your day is coming. We are grateful you stayed in the fight. Cindy A says they need to play this lifetime documentary in every middle or high school in the country. Educate kids. Money and fame isn't always what it appears to be. Hashtag Mute R. Kelly, hashtag surviving R. Kelly. 
And this is an image that says, ain't no teenage girl fast enough to catch a grown man that ain't attracted to children. And Remy Edo Lodge says, when it comes to chronic abusive behavior and dozens of victims, it's impossible to separate the art from the artist. The celebration of their work affords them the power, money, and community influence to abuse. Hashtag surviving R. Kelly. And Jude says, for a society that preaches absolute freedom and respecting choices, this campaign against R. Kelly is just ridiculous and hypocritical. Hashtag surviving R. Kelly. And Perez says, R. Kelly employs a lot of people, many of whom are very involved with the running of his properties. Those people should be held legally responsible too. Aren't they aiding and abetting? They've got blood on their hands. Hashtag mute R. Kelly. Hashtag surviving R. Kelly. And before we go, the International Criminal Court has ordered the release of former Ivory Coast President, President Lawrence Gbagbo after acquitting him on charges of crimes against humanity. Let's take a look at this video. We'll bring you more of those details in our subsequent bulletin. That's it for today's show. Join, join us tomorrow on Joy News Interactive. My name is Selena Mambo. Thank you.